Hello, good people. My name is Kiana. I am the owner of For Us Soap Company. Where I specialize in sending love in soap form. Not only do I get your body clean, but I motivate you in between. And I am finna make a turmeric and honey soap. I don't have a name for this bad boy just yet, but when it comes to mind, I'm sure it'll fit. So yeah, stay tuned. Let's get it. Hey y'all, I just wanted to come on here and say thank you to those 23 subscribers, okay? You have made my day. I'm appreciative. Like 23 is not a big number, but it's pleasing me, okay? It's giving me what it's supposed to be giving. It's giving encouragement, okay? I see y'all, and especially the ones that are commenting me. Y'all, we friends now. Okay, now back to this. So right now I'm adding my honey in the wrong way i uh saw a video of royal soaps who suggested that you add your honey in with your stick blender already out and go ahead and immediately start to mix well yeah i messed it up but it's okay it still turned out great but when you add honey into your soap make sure you have your stick blender already in your oils because you're gonna want to mix right off the bat so now I'm mixing the honey and oils with my stick blender until they're well incorporated. Honey is also a natural humectant, which means it'll bring moisture from the air into your skin. Alrighty, so I am checking the temperature of my oils and lye. The oils is at an 80 and lye is at a 78. It is best to keep your temperatures low in soap making when dealing with honey or any ingredient that has sugar because heat and sugar don't mix. It'll make everything accelerate faster and make it harder to work with. Sodium hydroxide, aka lye, is in. And now I'm just gonna manually stir this in for a bit. And just another, just a little soap tip. Um, the more you stick blend, the faster your batter will accelerate. Now, if you're doing a soap design that's a little bit more detailed, it's best to keep your batter a little bit more runny if that makes sense the consistency you want it to be a little bit more runny if you're doing a simple design or no design at all like for instance with this honey and turmeric soap it's just going to be a solid color so i could blend that you know without so much having to think if i'm over blending because it doesn't matter if i get it to a, a thick trace or not as long as i can still pour it into my mold if I'm making sense. But there's the turmeric that I'm mixing right now. Turmeric is good for eczema, it's good for hyperpigmentation. If you have any dark spots, it'll even out your skin tone. It's going to calm eczema or any other tricky skin condition. Um, yeah, it's, it's just great all the way around. Alrighty, so I got my turmeric poured in. Now I'm going in with my stick blender and I'm going to continue to mix that until everything is well incorporated. I just wanted to come on here and brag about my 23 subscribers. Like, y'all don't even know. I am excited y'all are here. Like, shout out to Charmaine. Shout out to uh, Jordan. Shout out to Brittany. Shout out to Patricia. Shout out to Diamond Princess. She requested I do a detailed video about soap making. It will be here soon. Um, so just thank y'all so much. It means a lot. It really do. And this is my essential oil blend. It is eucalyptus, lavender, and a splash of lemongrass. So I'm not, I'm not really sure. I haven't use lemongrass in a soap before but it's not a whole lot in there so i don't know how it react but so far so good i'm just gonna stir this to the best of my ability 
before deciding if I want to stick bland some more. And since I'm not planning on doing a design, I can really, it could be at a thicker trace than this. This is a pretty light trace. This, this is, this is still good if you wanted to do a design. You go ahead and stop right here. Don't, don't, don't blend anymore and do your design. But I'm not doing a design on this one. I do want it to be thick enough so that I can texture the, the top. And I don't have to wait that long to come back before I texture the top. So, I think I am going to stick blend just a little bit more, just to speed this up a little bit, or I can let it sit. Just a little bit. And that's the way that um, you should want to mix is impulsive. So every time you heard me, wrong, 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 never just press the button and let it go. You'll burn your motor out. So always stir impulses. I could definitely go ahead and pour at this at this point. Everything is nice and mixed. And I am coming up on a medium trace here. It's a light to medium. And the trace is exactly what it sounds like. You can see the little lines, the little traces when you drizzle some on top. If you're doing this and you don't see no lines, you definitely want to continue to mix. But I'm gonna go ahead and clean my stick blender. And I'm gonna pour this bad boy right on up. Okay, y'all. This bad boy is thickening up. So, this is a pretty medium is ready. This is the most relaxing part to me. It's just once all the hard work, really the what takes the longest is prepping, like measuring and setting stuff up and you know, making sure your shit right. That's what takes the longest. But it's pretty simple and straightforward. And we can be relaxing to some. And like I said, I'm just playing right now. I'm gonna let that get just a little bit more solid before I put some actual texture to it. So stay tuned. At the beginning of this video, I mentioned how I did not yet have a name for this soap. And for those who are new to my channel, I like to name my soaps not based on the properties or qualities that they hold, but just in a, a unique and different way that would uplift, motivate, or inspire the individual who's buying. In other words, I'm sending love in soap form. So I decided to call this soap Harmony. And Harmony is available for purchase on forussoapcompany.com. And it's in the collection called For Us Original. 
That collection is dedicated for soothing, irritated dry skin. All the soaps in that collection are going to be dedicated to eczema, any tricky skin condition. Bam. There you have it. And there it is, nice and textured. I'm gonna let the soap sit for 24 hours and then I will return to cut it. Alrighty, 24 hours later, and as you can tell, the turmeric has changed colors. <laughs> it's not bright orange anymore. But this color, I'm liking this color. I like the color of turmeric. I like how it changes in soap. So I'm just gonna unmold this and put it on the slab. And um, I'm struggling a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. I am struggling to get this out. Um, I've never made a soap with honey in it before, but it did make the bar a little bit soft, but not to the point to where it was too soft and it was crumbling. I mean, I still got that thing out of there whole, but um, I do have some, what is it called? Sodium lactate, which is a natural ingredient that makes for a harder bar. I need some water. My voice is raspy. Hold on. Okay, your girl is back and she's smooth again. Um, what was I saying? Sodium lactate, it makes for a harder bar of soap. So, it's going to make for easier unmolding. Boom. Isn't it gorgeous? It's just so simple. Like, I have soaps that have designs, but I like a good natural... A good natural looking solid color bar of soap with a nice texture top. I like that. And it's a nice size. It's it's a good thick bar. No thin bars over here for a soap company. We don't do thin bars. Okay. This soap weighs at least between six and six point five ounces. Okay. We got the thick bars over here. Well, hey, if you made it this far in this video, you might as well stick around and watch me stamp the soap. I'm recording on two cameras. That's why I keep pointing in two different directions. But yeah, watch me stamp it. It's coming up. Okay, now for the stamping. It just gives it a nice professional look. Gorgeous, oh, gorgeous. A great way to relieve a stressful day, come home and beat up on some soap, you know. It's very stress relieving. So here are some slow moving pictures of the finished product. And like I said, this is on forussoapcompany.com. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Whew. Okay, so that's it. That's the soap. Um, thank you. Thank you so much. Hmm. So thank you for tuning in. That's the soap. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed filming it. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.